Yeah, I still cannot believe that I bought my first car. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome. Let me take my glasses off so y'all can really see what I'm saying, okay? Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic, with the Kinesthetic. And we got a car, okay? We finally got a car! But in today's video, I wanna share with you guys the behind the scenes of me getting a car, um, decisions that I had to make, money that I had to pay, as well as a tour of my new 2022 Jeep Wrangler 4XE, period, she's hybrid. So before we get into the video, before we get into the fun, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So long story short, your girl got a car, okay? I got a Jeep Wrangler 4XE, and at first, I really wanted a Tesla, but I'll rewind to that period and share clips from them so you guys can see the thought process and everything that happened behind that. Hey you guys, so I'm starting this vlog on September 21st. I'm doing this vlog similar to how I did my home buying vlog for my car. In case you guys don't know, I never had a car before. But now that I'm a resident of Texas, a car is necessary. Like necessary, no questions asked. Even the fact that I can't move around how I want to move right now, it's, it's upsetting me my home, girl. So, I need a car. In New York, you can just hop on the train, the bus, go here, go there, cool, whatever. It's not like that in Texas. So, I need a car, and my dream car, should I tell you guys? My dream car <coughs> is a Tesla, either Model 3 or Model S. That's the goal, we shall see, but I've been comparing and I guess for me my biggest thing is that I definitely want an electric car just because one I don't like the fact of going to gas stations maybe I'm like thinking too deep but as a single black woman going to a gas station to me just doesn't something about that it just isn't safe to me that's just how I feel and I feel like it'll save me more money long term so it's just like why not just go electric even I don't know if you guys saw that a lot of states are planning to ban a lot of states are planning to ban gas cars. So I'm just like, let me get ahead and let me get me an electric car. That's the goal. So today, Wednesday, September 21st, I have an appointment to test drive a Model 3 at Tesla. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. But first I need to eat because your girl's hungry. I also just came back from changing my driver's license, well, surrendering my New York driver's license and applying for my Texas driver's license. So that should be here in two to three weeks. I have to remember to check my mail. I can make sure I get it. But um, yeah, let me eat and then we're heading to Tesla. Did you get a chance to upload your drive waiver with your license? The lights will turn so you can see your oncoming traffic. Oh, okay, cool. Well, not traffic, but you know, whatever. Yeah. You. Um, fog lamps. What else? We keep it really, really simple. Give me one second. I'll be right back. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Camera. This is called the B pillar. It's the column of the frame that separates the front cabin from the back. Mm -hmm. You have a camera here, and of course, it mirrors the other side. Mm -hmm front camera but really that's kind of like two cameras that kind of is yeah because you have the cyclops camera and then one that faces inside for the cabin oh got it okay and then of course you got a rear view camera okay know? um this is a double panel shatterproof glass mm. that double that blocks 99 percent uv rays mm. um so you don't need to tint it anymore it's pretty heavy tech you can't even see through it yeah um, <laughs> now it does cool things down a bit but it's still houston so it's not yeah to touch yeah and we do offer aftermarket sunshades for that there's your mobile connector or your charging port oh nice that's where you plug in okay on the wall i don't know if you saw like little white and saw things on yeah the wall. those are the destination charger or the wall connector for the home okay um 
So you don't really drive often, you drive three days a week. So I would say you're probably, your frequency of charging would be like, what, three to four times a month. Mm. Um, at home, it's really cheap. It's $4 every occurrence. Mm. It just depends on kilowatt hours. But as an average for Texas, four bucks. Oh, not um, bad. And also you can get the mobile connector version, which comes in the bundle of the two options that still has the same speed. That's six to seven hours. The mobile connector has the two bundles, so you can do the 110 three prong regular household plug the same plug you plug your phone in yeah um eight to nine hours mm -hmm. now the mobile connector for that still six to seven it's just mobile okay the difference between the two or the advantage of paying for that one is that you can plug it outside the garage oh okay so are we in a garage yeah in garage so i have a house so i will put it inside my garage all the time yeah I wouldn't pay $400 for that. Okay. I would just pay $200 to get the mobile connector. And also the cool thing with that, if you were to go on long distance road trips, mm -hmm. you can always stop someone and plug in mobile. Mm -hmm. Okay. And every Tesla comes with the, uh, the J1772. This is the third party adapter. Mm -hmm. So basically you see this shape here, that is a patented Tesla shape because we have the fastest charging out of any EVs. Oh, wow. You look at a Prius or any other EV, they're gonna have that shape. Oh. They have pretty standard charging. Okay. So there are like third party chargers like Centerpoint and stuff like that, mm. um, where you have to pay a different price and it is slower. Yeah. But if there's no Tesla charger near, which is very rare, you can use this. Okay, got it. So it's kind of like a adapter? Exactly, okay. that's exactly what it is. We just give you that option. Okay, that's cool. So as you see, really spacious trunk. Yes. Um, it's really deep. You got a 43 cubic inches of cargo space here. Mm. And of course, again, no exhaust, no catalytic converter, so you can have more storage. Yeah. Any questions on this? Um, do, do the back seat slow down? Like to oh, extend absolutely. the trunk? Okay, cool. Absolutely. This button closes it and you can also set the height. But in a garage, this is not going to be too high for a okay. garage. Um, let me show you the trunk. And it has a trunk in the front too, right? The frunk. What is it called? Frunk. 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 Okay. <laughs> You'll get used to it. <laughs> You're most likely gonna like this way more. Mm. You can put your bags in there. It's way easier oh. to get to. Um, also, it's really good for groceries. It's really yeah. good for picnics because it's insulated. Mm. Okay. Um, and for safety, of course, that's a really big factor. This is a five-star safety rating car, just like our entire line. Mm -hmm. um, frame is aluminum alloy. So are you familiar with Volvo? The brand? Yes. Yeah. Volvo is known for being one of the safest cars in the world. Uh -huh. They have their own safety crash course besides the regular general. Yeah. They have a uh, course where they test the integrity of the frame. Mm -hmm. It's a hydraulic press. We broke that press. Oh, wow. It takes, this weighs about 5,000 pounds. It takes about three of these for this to even look like it's going to get. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Soft clothes, just like a Porsche. Okay. Um, remember I was telling you about the batteries and where they're located? Yes. So that's where all the weight of the car is. Oh. So since it's between your uh, your axles and perfectly in the middle, yeah. it's really impossible for this car to flip over. Oh, because it's like so balanced. Mm -hmm. Got so it. Ready. Um, do you know how to open the door? Um... No. <laughs> okay. I think I had one of these as a cab one time and I was struggling to get in. So, of course, you press this and this pops out. But this is actually made for your thumb. So, what you're going to do is you're going to press in your uh -huh. nails. Okay, yeah. so with your nails, <laughs> you would do it like this, let this brush up against it, and then grab it and pull. Oh. Just like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Please. Thank you. Guys, it's safe to say that I am in love. Like, I literally cannot drive anything else. Like, it drives so effortlessly. It's so beautiful inside. Let me get in so I can show y'all real quick. Just imagine me in here. White interior, though, because the black is a little bit too dark for you, girl. But I am in love. Like, oh. Hey guys, so it is a couple of weeks later and I have an update, car update. I don't think I'm gonna get the Tesla. And it's crazy how things end up working out, but one thing about me is I'm gonna listen to God. Like I'm gonna look at the signs, I'm gonna listen to the signs and I'm gonna do what the signs tell me to do, okay? So long story short, 
I was like at first when I purchased or put my order in for my Tesla, I was like, you know, Tesla, 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 Tesla. I have my mindset on it, I have my pocket set on it and everything. And I have the money for it, but there's a couple of things that I want to do. There's a couple of things that I'm going to do short term. So I was just like, should I spend the money on a Tesla or should I get a car that's going to cost me less right now and be able to do those things for myself freely? You know what I'm saying? So everything will make sense to you guys too. But either way, I, um, I was watching a video earlier this week from Jalen, Face Open Matter here on YouTube. And she mentioned that she had put an order in for a Tesla and she was considering like, do I spend the money on a Tesla? Do I use my money in a different way? And it's crazy because I'm not the most religious person ever. I will say that. But I appreciate how open she is with her religion and her testimonies and everything on her channel. Um, I can't 100% relate, but some things that she, majority of the things she says, I'm just like, wow, like, I feel the same way or I had the same experience, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I like watching certain YouTubers because it's like I can really relate to what they're saying. And even if I can't relate to it right now, it applies in my future or it can apply in my future. But either way, I was watching a video. She said she ordered a Tesla and she was like, should she spend money on a Tesla? Or should she use the money that she could spend on a Tesla and use it in other areas of her life? And I'm like, this is a sign. Like, this is the sign that I was considering it and then I'm just like, wow, it's crazy that she has the same dilemma as me and she decided like she's not gonna go with the Tesla. So, yeah, um, I was just like, I'm not stressed about it because I'm like, I know that I'm doing the best thing for myself right now. So, I was like, um, you know, my order is still in. I paid the 250, lost the 250. But I'm just like, I need a car now because living in Texas is cool. I like it so far, but the whole getting around situation, that is what gets me. So I'm just like, I need a car. Now that I came to terms with the fact that the Tesla is not for me right now, I need a car. So what am I gonna do to get a car? So besides the Tesla, my dream cars, I guess right now, I don't wanna say dream cars, but cars that I would like to have are a Jeep Wrangler, um, a Jeep Wrangler, a BMW, but it depends. So either way, I'm going to head to um, a dealership near me to look at some Wranglers and figure that out. And then after that, I'll see if I can set an appointment at BMW just to get everything out of the way so that at the end of today, I have an idea of what car I want. Not that I'm rushing the process, but time is of the essence, okay? So I'm gonna go use the bathroom and then we are going to head to the car dealership. So basically, I was, on Friday, I woke up and I realized that I was receiving so many signs that the Tesla is not for me right now. Like, yes, I love the car. Yes, I still want the car. But right now, I don't think it's in God's plan. So I'm like, okay, what now? What am I gonna do? I need a car. Okay, I live in Houston, Texas. Your girl needs a car. So I was just like, I'm gonna go test drive some cars. So I went to this place where they have like separate dealerships on one block. I was like, I'm just gonna go test drive cars. I really wanted a Jeep Wrangler before I had a Tesla in mind, but I was so set on the Tesla that I forgot that I wanted a Jeep Wrangler, if that makes sense. So I was like, I'm gonna go test drive a Jeep Wrangler. So I pulled up to the dealership, test drove the car, connected so well with the people at the dealership. It was an intimidating experience compared to Tesla, but um, I know that I made the right decision because I did not have any doubts during the whole process. And I felt comfortable with everything that was going on. So I was just like, okay, at this point, it's above me. It is above me. So I, um, I have a car. I went home with the car on Friday. Today is actually Sunday. I went home with the car on Friday, but I didn't leave the dealership until like 9 p.m. So I, what did I do? I came home with the car Friday and then I went back on Saturday for them to wash, detail it. And I now have my brand new Jeep Wrangler. She's clean, I love her so much. So I wanna give you guys a car tour so you guys can see the details of the car, what it looks like, cause I'm sure you guys don't wanna see me here standing and talking, y'all wanna see the car, what is it about? So we are gonna get into that in a second. But I did wanna say that I did put money down on the car. I just, I put down 
half of what I had saved for a car. I'll say that. I don't want to give y'all too much business, too much information for y'all to be all over my business. So I put that money on the car and then, you know, they calculate my monthly payments. My insurance, baby, when I did a quote for car insurance in New York, they told me, because this is my first ever insurance policy, they told me that my insurance would be five to six hundred dollars a month for my car. In Houston, it is a fraction of that price. Like literally so freaking cheap. And this is my first policy ever. So in case you guys don't know when it's your first car when it is your first car policy, they try to politic and you know charge you an arm and a leg. But your girl got a cheap policy, okay? And also I was able to bundle it with my home insurance. So I don't pay as much for my home insurance or my car insurance. So we love that. And what else did I want to tell you guys? That is money, how much I paid. Um, car, the car is hybrid, so I'll show you guys. So it takes to get, let's just, let's just go see the car. <laughs> okay, so here is my baby. I still don't have a name for her yet, so comment down below and let me know name suggestions after you guys see like the features and everything about her like what does she scream to you let me know but it is a nice gray color absolutely love the color and all jeep wrangler 4 xc's have these blue tabs on them so it has it on the left hand side as well as the right hand side also it has the standard wrangler tires as you guys can see and then it also has jeep wrangler sahara and wrangler is written in the same blue as the color of the blue tabs up front we have this antenna right here i think this is such a sleek like you know look on wrangler absolutely love it and the roof and the doors of this wrangler do come off i did want to note that it has the step up because your girl is a shorty so i definitely need assistance getting in this big boy but let's go ahead and see what the inside looks like oh not my raisin cane cup but um this is the inside it has black leather seats which i love and it is the sahara so that is on the seats absolutely love babes everything about this gives luxury i looked in this and i'm like oh yeah this is me this is where i am at this point in my life and i absolutely love it this is the inside black leather seats hard top roof so it does have the hard top roof but i do have the option to like purchase and switch out so i can get a soft roof if i want to i think the sales rep told me it was like 14 or 1700 but i love the hard top i feel like it gives the authentic jeep feel the authentic jeep experience so i absolutely love that looking up here we do have a cute little screen so whenever i'm driving i connect my carplay to this screen right here and i also have media ports so i can plug in the new iphone charger the old iphone charger and all of that the sound system in this car is absolutely amazing as well so let's go ahead and look in the back so the back same black leather seats absolutely love and then we have some features here so the vents come in like this so it literally doesn't look like anything until you twist and turn it and then down here we do have two of the old iphone usb ports i keep saying old and new y'all get what i'm saying and then we also have an outlet so if i want to charge like my ipad or my computer i can plug it in here and the sound system as i told y'all the sound system the bass in this car is absolutely stunning i love 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 it now we're going in the trunk so before we get into the trunk we do have 4x e written down here with the blue this was like um a plaque of the dealership name but i just have to get this off but once i get a car wash it'll come off it's just like a tacky um material but this is a trunk this is a trunk of donk donk <laughs> So in the trunk, we do have the charger for the car because this is a hybrid car. So this little pouch has the charger in it. I'll open it real quick for you guys to see. The charger is a mess because um, I did charge my car since getting it. I charged it in my house two days ago. And then it also has like this case here. So when I do want to take the top off of the car, I can put the materials in here. But let me show you guys something I thought was really cool so down here this is where the um 
the charger for the car came but this area here is like a refrigerator so if i have like drinks and i'm going on a road trip i could go ahead and put it in here or if i get groceries and i want it to stay cool i could go ahead and put it in here but i thought that was such a cool little aspect of this car so yeah this is the trunk and then it also has a spare tire on the back of the car i want to get like a cute little cover to cover the spare tire so we shall see and then here we have the port for fuel. So when it is time for me to go to the gas station and put fuel in my car, this is where I will put it. And then we have the outlet here for the charger. So when it's time for me to charge my car, this is where I plug it in. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. So you just tap it to open and close it. And then here you go ahead and you take this off and then you just plug the charger in here. And then to close it, you just hard press. This is how the driver's side looks. So on the Jeep Wrangler 4XE, you do have three modes that you can drive the car in. You can drive it in hybrid, electric, or e-save. You can also drive it in electric and e-save. I do want to say in general that this bad, this car's battery only drives 22 miles. So to me, that's not far, but I don't plan on driving often. So it's not too bad, but if you are someone who does plan on driving often and you are really into like the whole electric aspect of this car or of a car, I don't think that this is the best electric car. I will say that that's just my honest thoughts and my honest opinions. But on the door, you have the mirror situation to go ahead and adjust your mirrors up, down, left, right. You have the lock and unlock for the doors. And then you're looking at the doors and you're probably like, how do I put the windows up and down? That is over here. So in the middle, you have the functionality to open and close the windows over here. And then you also have this port here, which is the standard like car charger situation. But yes, this is what it looks like inside the front panel. And then I just have my phone mount over here. So, you know, if I whenever I drive I like to put my phone up here even though I am using the CarPlay I don't know what it is but I got this from Target I'll see if I can find it and link it down below and then you have your um gears here this is if you're driving like off road I don't plan on doing y'all know I barely know how to drive so uh, we'll be sticking right over here and then in the middle we have this compartment here i just have my iphone cord in here i have a cord that i specifically keep in my car but i also want to put lotion hand sanitizer and an umbrella in here just like car essentials so comment down below let me know what your car essentials are like what are some things you keep in your car comment down below and let me know but i'm gonna go ahead and take my trash inside <laughs> Hey guys, so to conclude this video, I wanted to go through some pros and cons of the Jeep Wrangler 4X8 to me. So the first pro is the fact that Jeep Wranglers are known to maintain their value and that the resale value is going to be there. The next pro was that if you purchase the Jeep Wrangler 4XE, you do get a $7,500 rebate. So when I was comparing the 2022 4XE to the 2022 regular Wrangler, they came out to be about the same price. So I was just like, since this one has the hybrid functionality to it, I'll go ahead and try it out. This vehicle is leased, I will say that. So it's not like I'm stuck with the car forever. So I feel like this is a great car for me to start driving in. As I mentioned, this is my first car. So with me having a bigger car too, I feel like it'll give me more confidence driving on the road. Also, the height of the car is great for houston because it tends to rain and flood here a lot so i also didn't want a car that was too low because your girl is not trying to get stuck anyway okay when i first got here i'm like why does everyone have a big car and then over time i started to realize that oh okay it makes sense the next pro for me is the look of the car i love the color i love the interior and i really really love how the car looks i'm so happy that i leased this car because i am able to have the option to you know get rid of it or decide to keep it after the lease term is up with the tesla i don't know if i mentioned it in the video but tesla leases you have to give the car back after three years or you have to finance the car and i didn't feel comfortable with either option because it was either i was going to end up essentially renting a car like renting the tesla because i had to give it back after three years or i would have been stuck with a car that i didn't 
like because I decided to finance it. I hope that makes sense. But now let's get into the cons of the Jeep Wrangler 4 xe So the first con I would say is the short battery life. I told you guys in this video that I really, really wanted an electric car. And with an electric car, it's important to understand, or a hybrid car, it's important to understand how far the car can go on the electric battery. As I mentioned earlier, the Jeep Wrangler can only go 22 miles with the um electric battery which isn't too much of a problem for me because i don't mind like you know burning the gas after but if you're someone where you're like oh my god i want an electric car this is not the car for you i'm telling you guys that now so i usually charge my car outside of the house because i still have to figure out how much it would essentially cost me to charge it at my house but as i mentioned i don't mind using the gas and this is also a lease vehicle so I have the option to trade it in or buy it out at the end of my lease term. And I have not realized any other cons on the vehicle yet, but I will give you guys an update after a few months. I've only had this car for a couple of days, so I'm not able to really speak on the cons or things that I find wrong with the car, but I'll be able to speak on that more over time. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Let me know some car name suggestions down below. And let me know your thoughts. Have you ever had a Jeep Wrangler? Do you plan on getting one? Comment down below and let me know. Or do you have a Tesla? Do you plan on getting one? Comment down below and let me know too because I told you guys that eventually I would want to get a Tesla but it's just not in God's cards for me right now. So that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed me and my first car period. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way until the end and until my next video. I'll see you guys later. Love you so much. Number